And on top of that, the tragedy last November, President Kennedy's assassination. Precisely. In a sense, Khrushchev has lost his biggest partner and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. A certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the anti-government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gru. He has control over another secret weapons research facility much like this one, OKB-812, known as the Gronin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. It's probably an iron dildo. You know, conducts lightning really well. <laughs> Thunderbolt? Ah, oh, never mind. Ah. The intelligence says that they are going to make their move during the test. Then, the soldiers outside. Exactly. They would not need them? that many men just to keep me inside. Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volgin from capturing me. Even if it meant killing me in the process, or so it would seem. Volgin will come. I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. I've only just noticed that that monocle attached to his ear is so weird. By the way, your Russian is superb. Where did you learn to speak it? At the brothel. From my mentor. In the brothel. Is that so? Yeah. America's truly a frightening country. Of gummy bears. Having second thoughts? No. Oh. I have no love for this place. Let's go. Yeah, let's fuck. Oh, wait. <laughs> Having second thoughts? Having cold feet? He's like, what are you doing down there, dude? Oh, wait, that could be taken wrong, too. Shit. Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? I managed to get past them. I see. What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there. Oh dear, her mobile phone is acting up. Crap. That's what you get when you buy a shitty little iPhone. Dude, it's a little dangerous. I mean, yeah, we're bright red in this area is probably dangerous too, but then again, it blends in nicely there, doesn't it? Look, no one would ever see him. Like, in this area, red actually works. Now look, oh, yeah, oh, 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 shit. Yeah, what was all that about? It's like, what do you think you can do by doing that? Ah, never mind. Oh, suddenly everyone knows that I'm here. Everybody. And, and we can't see them now, Freeze. suddenly. You both are screwed. Did that guy on the top there just get up like he was dead? I'm gonna check that out later. This is the legendary boss. Huh? Huh? We meet at last. That's a tiny little gun. You! You're from the Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. Huh? What's a crew soldier doing here? Soldier? Well, aren't you?
He's the Ocelot Commander. <laughs> That's Major Ocelot to you. And don't you forget it. You know, if someone did that, so, some, if someone did that little twiz in front of them, wouldn't they just shoot him for being, so like, suspicious? Now get out of here. And Ocelot never lets his prey escape. The Gru are your what? enemy. Why aren't you shooting him? <laughs> shoot him. Shoot him. Like, shoot him now. He's open fire. Shoot him. No, really. Shoot him. I guess you guys are slow as hell. Well, at least Ocelot is awesome. I can't say it feels good to kill a comrade. I Even can. It's for the Gru. Even if it is for your mom. Sokolov, take cover. Behind my ass. All right, you saying come at me, bro? Huh. You're not the boss, are you? Well, I don't have tits, if that's what you mean. Because the boss was that chick that we ignored. Ocelot, you're one big pussy. Just saying. Crew operatives! What is that stance? Huh. That gun. <laughs> 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 if you're not the boss, then die. Lol, an opportunity. Major! Is everyone Please. in this just an idiot? Shoot the other one! He said shoot, not run at. He could have spent that time on jamming his gun, but he didn't. Impossible. You ejected the first bullet by hand, didn't you? I see what you were trying to do, but testing a technique you've only heard about in the middle of battle wasn't very smart. You were asking to have your gun jam on you, huh? Besides, I don't think you're cut out for an automatic in the first place. You tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. That's more of a revolver technique. You filthy American dog! That wasn't a very nice thing to say. That was some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. 
<sighs> oh, poor Ocelot. Well, we just beat up a giant pussy. Then again, we're wearing bright red and yeah, very smart. Yeah, dude. Major, do you read me? I read you. Snake, you all right? I've run into a few snags. These guys were after Sokolov, too. Apparently, they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgan's. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't like it. Something about the whole thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. We're counting on you. You know that line, something about the whole thing stinks? That line is used in every Metal Gear Solid game. It's not even an exaggeration. It's too... Is that snake one that we've already got? Let's just check. It looks like it is. But let's see. Oh, okay, just fall. Well, what does it fall of? Mac oh, I've got two of these. Okay. Pretty tasty. Pretty tasty. We'll end up telling Paramedic about all the food already. Oh, there's another python. Eh, don't care, I dispose. But anyway, thanks for watching everybody. I will no doubt be seeing you soon as I continue to play Metal Gear Solid 3. Um, yeah, I'll just get him in close because I'll be adding him to my channel maybe. Yeah. Yay! But anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Bye B. Oh wait, no, no, not bye B. Not baby at all. We have something to do first. We have to Even save. Game snake. You betcha. I already tried to record it once, so you'll see there's a game here. Ha ha. That was 59 minutes. How long did it take this time? 47. I was much quicker. Hey snake, you ever heard of Godzilla, King of Monsters? Yeah. No. What is it? It's a movie. You haven't seen it. Nope. It's about this monster called Godzilla, who grows to an enormous size in a nuclear test and goes on a rampage in Tokyo. Nuclear test, huh? Then the Marshall Islands must be crawling with giant monsters right about now. It's just make-believe. Maybe that's why my pants have been so tight lately. Snake, it's a movie, not a report out of Los Alamos. I know. So then what happened? Godzilla is immune to all weapons, and humanity has no way to stop the monster. Dr. Sirizawa develops a new type of weapon, but meanwhile, Godzilla is getting closer and closer to Tokyo, obliterating everything in its path. It was originally a Japanese movie, but they made an American version, too. I recommend seeing the original Japanese one if you ever get the chance. It's mostly mindless fun, but it's also got a serious anti-nuke message as well. Where can I see the original? You'll just have to go to Japan. Really? That's too bad. Well, if you wait 40 years, you might be able to see it in America, too. Why is that? 2004 will be Godzilla's 50th birthday. You think they're still going to be making Godzilla movies, then? Of course! Everybody loves Godzilla. You sure know a lot about movies. I don't suppose you're the movie-watching type, are you? Not really. Okay, then I'll tell you everything I know. When the going gets tough, movies can save your life. It's always good to be able to look at things from a different perspective when you get in a jam. That's the magic of movies. No kidding. Well, I guess it might at least make a nice distraction. That's the spirit, Snake. Have a little fun. While killing people. Stabbing people in the throat. Have a bit of fun with it, okay? But yeah, she tells us about movies and things when we save. Whereas Mei Ling in Metal Gear Solid 1 told us about weird Asian oriental philosophy when we saved it was weird um yeah thanks for watching everybody i will indeed be seeing you the next time when i do more of this uh have some fun uh 
Hope you're enjoying this, and, well, yeah, that's about it. Bye, B.